wanted to show you how to um, attach a sequin chain to an end tab. Sequin chains have no holes or lengths on them, so they're hard to uh, solder to a jump ring. So what I'm going to do is instead I'm going to use the alternate, which is an end tab. So let me show you how that's done. Go ahead and flex your, your end tab and your chain. And I'm going to take a piece of soft solder. And I'm going to place it right there on one end of the end tab. Now I'm going to bring the sequin chain over to it. So I'm going to drag it over and lay that last little sequin on top of that. There we go. Go ahead and put your torch in your non-dominant hand and take your soldering pick. And you're gonna heat this up. Heat up the chain and the end tab. Let that flux dry. Now I'm going to keep the uh, torch right there on top of the end tab until I see the solder flow. There we go. I'll go ahead and turn that off. Now you're going to want to go ahead and quench it before you can go on to the next step. Okay, so I've quenched it. I've quenched the piece and it's cooler now. So now I can touch it. What you want to do is you're going to need to flip that end tab over so that you can now solder the top part onto that um, sequin that's already soldered on. Um, what you want to do though is you're going to want to flip it over, but you want to keep the loop inside the inside of that end tab. So use something that's not ta um, tapered like um, a nail or a punch works really well, the, the bottom of the punch. Um, even your soldering pick, if it's straight, you can use that. So you want to go ahead and flip that over and keep the loop. Okay, so I went ahead and folded mine over, and you can see I kept the loop in it. I've pinched it as far down as I can, and there's still a slight gap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a soldering pick for this next part. Now there's already enough solder in there to cover both of them when I reheat it. And solder is good for about three flows. So I'm only on the second one now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and heat it, use a soldering pick to hold it down a little bit until it flows again. Now I'll go ahead and flex the piece Oops. to help it to flow again. And I may use a soldering pick to push it down when it gets hot enough. So go ahead and again, put your torch in your non-dominant hand. Heat up your entire chain. Now go ahead and circle around your end tab. And watch for that flow point. And there we go. Go ahead and quench it. And let's see what we have. You're going to have to, of course, pickle it. But let's go ahead and look at it now. So it did remain the loop, which is good. That's what you want to do. And it did solder all the way through. Now this one link is kind of hard, but if you loosen it up with a pickle, it'll come loose or just wiggling it in your hand. And it's starting to loosen up now.
You just want to be really careful it didn't flow onto it. That way your chain's not stiff. And that's how you solder an end tab onto a sequence.